Welcome to a new episode of Green Care with Marco. Today is a special episode because I have the pleasure to have here with me Adam Fuller, head gardener at MHA The Wilderness. Hello Marco. Hi Adam. Here at The Wilderness we love the Shirley poppies and today's activity is about the Shirley poppies. Can you tell us why they're so important for, for us? I can. The Shirley Poppy was created by the former owner and creator of the Wilderness Garden, Reverend William Wilkes. He basically found some poppies which had a white margin round the top of the poppies from the normal red flowers, which is Papaver reus. He then decided to breed or crossbreed the ones with, which had the white margin. And in the end, the following year, because he collected the seeds, he had over 200 flowers, four or, four or five of which had the same resembling white edge around the flower. Did this over three to four years, and in the end he created the right seed to produce the Shirley poppy. He, cult he cultivated these and sent them out around the world for free. And what we're doing today is actually to keep up with Wilkes Legacy and, um, and use the Shirley poppies as part of our programme of green care activities with whole Grange residents. But what we need to do to grow Shirley poppies? Shirley poppies like broken soil, basically a little, as little competition as possible. So if you weed an area and you break the surface of the soil and basically just scatter the seeds over the surface, fairly evenly distributed. Right, so to sow the poppies, we'll, we'll give you a bit of an example here. Yeah. It would normally be done outdoors with a bit of soil which is just broken, but on, for, the, for the purpose of doing this, we just put some compost okay. into here. Right. Do you want me to prepare the seeds? You can open the packet for us, okay. yes, please. I'll do it. I know they're incredibly small. They are tiny, yeah. You barely can see them. Right. I'm just going to open this up. So you're compacting the soil? Well, I'm just compacting it because this is compost. If you were doing it in pots, you'd have to do the same. Just compact it a little bit. Not, not so solid, but just, just a little fraction, really. You can see how incredibly small they are. Yeah. Okay, so next we're gonna do that. Just, should I just sprinkle them over? Try and keep it even when you disperse okay. them, but just try and spread it over the whole area. All right. That's well, it, that's it. You got to be really focused when you do this. Yeah, you missed a bit over there. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> ah, there you go. There you go. Right, what's yeah, next? And then just kind of compact it, just give it a little push down a little bit. Okay. And then just give it a very light sprinkling of soil over the top. Great. And then we can actually stick this outside. Yes, you could. Okay. Yeah. It will need a little bit of moisture. Because we're using potting compost here, it will need just a little bit of moisture. So. Well, you put a little bit of water. There's just, just a tiny little bit of water on top. Nice. Like that. And we're done. That looks fantastic. Now we just need to see if the Shirley Pop is going to start to grow. They will. They yeah. will. We just need somewhere nice and bright. Fantastic. So take them outside and give it full light. Yep. And Adam, can you tell us a little bit how long it's going to take before we start seeing the seedlings? Shirley, poppy, Shirley poppies normally take between 10 to 21 days to actually start to germinate and start to grow. Um, obviously that will depend on how wet it is, it will depend on how, on how the temperature and how much sunlight there is in the area. At this, this activity we residents at Hall Grange and potting up is a great activity for both your physical and mental well-being. And being outdoors is always good for, the, good for yourself. Absolutely. And also, when you succeed, it's quite nice also to show it off a little bit and take pride of what you're doing. Some plants will flourish, some plants will fail. By moving them around a bit in the garden, you'll always find an area where they'll grow, where they'll grow best and flourish. Well, Adam, why don't you join me to wish good luck to our friends, and we're really looking forward to receiving your pictures about Shirley poppies. And that's all from me. And that's all from me. I'll see you to the next episode of Green Care with Marco. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.